Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I'm a second year vet student and today I'm going to be walking you through the courses that I'm taking as a phase two DVM student at the Ontario Veterinary College. Before I started vet school and honestly up until a couple weeks before I even started class, I had no idea what I would be learning in vet school or what courses I would be taking. So I thought it would be cool to walk you guys through or explain some of the courses that I'm taking in my second year so that you guys have an idea of what phase two vet students learn. So if you are curious about what second year vet students learn throughout the year, this video is going to be perfect for you. And if you guys like this video and want to see more videos about the DVM curriculum, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you you're not already. Also, even though I'm already done with first year, I'd be happy to make a video about the courses that I took in first year as well. So with that being said, before we jump into the courses that I'm taking in my second year, I thought I would just break down how the OVC curriculum is structured. So basically at OVC, the DVM program is a little bit different than an undergrad program in the sense that we are in year long courses. So the material that we start in September goes all the way until April when we do our final exams. This means that our exams in April cover content from eight months, which is a little bit scary. The other difference from the DVM program versus undergrad programs is that in undergrad, I always took five courses a semester, whereas now in vet school this semester, I'm taking seven courses. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the structure of OVC courses, let's jump into the first three courses, which are actually continuations of courses from first year. So the first course that we're gonna talk about that's part of the phase two curriculum is Art of Veterinary Medicine II. So Art of Vet Med or AVM is a course that we start in our first year of vet school and then continue on throughout the entire program. The main focus of this course is communication, human animal interactions, professional development, and the client patient veterinarian triad. So the content of AVM is actually one that I find super interesting. And one of the main learning objectives or main assignments that we do throughout the year are client simulated interviews. These interviews give us a chance to practice what a real life appointment would be like. So basically the university hires actors from the community to come in and play clients that we would meet in a veterinary practice. Each of our client simulated interviews are focused on a different topic. So it could be breaking bad news, it could be healthy euthanasia, or it could just be dealing with a difficult client. These simulated interviews give us a chance to practice our communication skills and figure out what is gonna work in a real life scenario. The cool thing about these interviews is that we can pause the interview at any time and get feedback from a veterinary coach. This is super helpful because getting advice from veterinarians who have been practicing for years and who have so much experience under their belt really helps you think more critically and develop the communication skills that you wouldn't get just from sitting in a classroom. We start these client communication activities in first year and build on them throughout the phases of vet school. Each year the situations get a little bit more difficult or really focus in on a certain communication skill and in my first year I found these so nerve-wracking. I did not like them whatsoever but actually in my second year we had two different scenarios that we had to go through and I felt like I got so much more out of them and it really felt like I was a practicing veterinarian. AVM is one of those courses that I feel like is preparing me to be a vet. Some courses I find were learning material that doesn't really seem applicable to vet med, even though in the long run it is, at the time it doesn't seem like it, but AVM is one of those courses where I learn the things and I go out and actually practice them and it's so realistic and so applicable to what I'm gonna be doing in the future that it really feels like I'm studying to be a vet, which is pretty cool. So that's AVM and the client simulated interview part of that course. Let's move on to another course that I took in first year and now we're taking the part two to that course in second year. And that is clinical medicine too. So to give you guys a little bit of background information, in clinical med in first year, we learn about the basics of physical exams and how to go about doing them on different species. We learn about reference ranges and what would be the normal findings of a physical exam. We also learned how to get a history from a client and then write a medical record. In second year, we're still practicing all those skills, but we're building on those learning objectives. And now in second year, we're enhancing those clinical skills and focusing more on our problem solving skills by actually going through cases and writing medical records on those cases. Clin Med is a course that I'll also be taking in my third year and the goal by the end of third year is that we'll be able to have skills such as animal handling, history taking, physical exam skills, being able to diagnose certain cases, as well as come up with differential diagnoses for different cases. By the end of third year, 
not only will we be able to diagnose certain cases, but we'll also be able to come up with a medical treatment plan for those specific cases. So ClinMed is actually a course that you guys have seen a little bit of content from in some of my day in the life videos. This is another course where I feel like I'm actually practicing skills that I'm going to be taking with me in the future. And this is another course that I feel like really makes me feel like a vet because it is so hands-on and we're actually out there working with the animals a lot of the time. So ClinMed, also one of my favorite courses that I've taken in first and second year. Okay, so we talked about AVM, we talked about ClinMed. Now let's talk about the third course that we took part one of in first year and are now taking again in second year. And that course is Health Management 2. So in health management, emphasis is placed on the relevant epidemiological tools for understanding disease causation, evidence-based vet med, and critical appraisal of literature. This course also focuses on surveillance and outbreak investigation. Animal behavior and animal welfare issues are also presented in a species-specific context. So we actually go through the different species and look at their housing needs as well as their welfare requirements for each species. This course is also cool because it incorporates the One Health Initiative, and this is where we take a look at regulatory matters, food safety, and zoonotic disease issues. So I actually have it right here, and the definition of health management is the promotion of health and the prevention of disease in animals within the economic and business framework of the animal or owner industry, while addressing issues of animal welfare, human safety, and environmental impact. So that's why this course really encompasses the One Health Initiative, because we aren't just looking at animals, we're looking at how animals impact human and food safety, as well as have an environmental impact. Most recently in health management, we were actually learning about heartworm and the diagnosis slash prevention and treatment of heartworm in dogs in North America. Okay, so those are the three courses that we took the first part in first year and then are now taking the second part in my second year of vet school. So now let's move on to the courses that are completely new for us this year. So the first course and by far my heaviest course in second year is Principles of Disease. So like I said, pod is one of our heaviest courses this semester, and I think it's because we cover so many different topics within this one course. So far in pod, we've learned about hematology, virology, toxicology, and then after Christmas, we're gonna be learning about parasitology, the relevant pharmacology, and immunology. So pod or principles of disease is also a course where we're looking at the interaction between the host, the environment, and the different factors in the development of disease. By the end of this course, we're basically expected to be able to recognize and be able to describe the disturbances of health and homeostasis at a population level using a variety of different diagnostic tools. So like I said, there's a lot of content in this course and it's actually worth the most out of all of our courses that we're taking this year. So if you guys have seen me studying for any of my midterms in my day in the life vlogs, it's probably for this course because we get tested on it pretty frequently just due to the amount of content that we're learning. But despite it being one of the heavier courses this year, I'm actually really enjoying it and I specifically liked the toxicology unit. I I just thought it was super interesting and learning about the different toxins whether it be household or plant toxins that can affect our pets was super cool okay that was pod let's move on to another course that you guys have actually seen me do stuff for and that is theriogenology so in one of my study with me videos, I was studying for theriogenology. And then also in one of my videos, I was doing cow palpations, which is part of our Therio course. So the learning objectives for theriogenology are to understand the normal and abnormal reproductive systems of domestic animals. And within this course, we're learning about mammalian reproductive physiology and histology, as well as the diagnosis and treatment of reproductive disorders, infertility, and management of breeding programs. So like I said, this is the course Course that I've been doing cow palpations for and if I have to pick one thing that I've learned this year that surprised me and how much I liked it it would be cow palps for Therio. Before this year I was terrified of the cows. I did not like working with them. They did not like me. Every time I tried to do a physical exam on them they would try and kick me and I just did not like it. So I actually went into this year not knowing if I was going to do the cow palps or not. For us they're optional and in my head I was like well I don't need to do it. The cows don't like me so why would I? I was convinced by some of my friends to try them and just see how it went. And honestly, I'm so glad I did them because not only am I learning about the reproductive physiology of cows, but because the palpations are so hands-on and I'm getting to feel what the reproductive tract would feel like in a real life animal, 
it's just enhanced my learning and I feel like I'm getting so much more out of the lectures. So for our cow palps, we go in and we'll palpate the cows and then we get to use an ultrasound to actually visualize what we're feeling. So all in all, Thurio really surprised me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this course or not, but I've actually been having a really good time in this course. So we've talked about five courses that I'm taking this semester. Now let's move on to number six and that is anesthesia and pharmacology. So this is the course that I have been struggling with this semester. I don't know why, but it is just like my arch enemy at this point. For some reason, no matter how much I study, I just struggle with the midterms. I feel like this happens every year. I have one course that I kind of struggle with and well, anesthesia and farm is my course this year. But despite my struggles with it, it actually is really cool and the content that we're learning is really interesting. So the main learning objectives for anesthesia and farm are to learn the general principles, the pharmacologic basis, as well as practical applications of general and local anesthesia in small and large animals. Some of the other topics that are covered in this class are fluid and acid base imbalances, as well as the prevention and treatment of surgical shock. We've also been learning about the pharmacological aspect of different drugs used in the treatment of infection infections, seizures, behavioral disorders, and disorders of the blood. So recently in this course, we actually had a lab where we learned to set up an anesthetic machine as well as how to set it up for different surgical procedures as well as for different patients. So like I said, despite my struggles with this course, what we're learning is actually incredibly relevant and is really interesting. For some reason, my brain just doesn't like it, but all in all, really cool course and something that I'm gonna be using all the time in practice. So we can't be learning about the next course that I'm gonna talk about without anesthesia and farm. And that next course is Principles of Surgery. So Principles of Surgery, I think I have to say, is probably my favorite course this semester. Like I said, this is a brand new course for us in second year, but it does build on some of the concepts that we learned in our first year. So we start learning or practicing our suture skills in first year. Now in Principles of Surgery in second year, we're taking those basics that we learned in first year and we're learning different suture patterns as well as how to prep ourselves and our patients for surgery. This is the course that you guys have probably seen the most content for on my channel. This is the course where I'm doing all my surgical and asepsis prep so you guys see me in my gloves and my gown and my mask. I'm sure you guys can tell from the videos but I'm having so much fun with this course and principles of surgery is a course that continues into our third year. So in second year we're learning about different surgical procedures such as gastrointestinal procedures as well as spays and neuters. And then in third year is where we actually put our surgical skills to the test and we get to do our very first real life surgery. So I'm sure you can imagine this course has been so cool, so interesting to learn about and this is also one of the courses that makes me really feel like a vet. It's because it is so hands-on and we're actually learning skills that we're going to be applying in our future. So yeah, Principles of Surgery, probably the coolest course I'm taking this semester and I'm so excited to see how my learning in this course this year transfers over into my learning for this course in third year. So there you guys have it. Those are the seven courses that I'm taking in phase two of the DVM program at OVC. Overall this year, I'm really enjoying the content that we're learning. It feels super applicable and it just makes me feel like I'm gonna be a vet. I know I keep saying that, but some of the content that I learned in first year did not feel very relevant. I'll be honest, learning histology in first year didn't feel like a vet at all. And I found in first year, there was a lot more memorization and little facts that needed to be learned. Whereas in second year, I'm finding even though we are online, the content is a lot more hands-on and they're focusing a lot more on our actual skills that we're gonna be taking out into practice. So all in all, even though my course load this semester is quite heavy and I've been extremely busy, I'm really enjoying the courses that I'm taking in second year. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a look into what a second year vet student is learning Learning. And if you guys want to see more videos like this where I go more in depth into what I'm learning in specific courses Definitely let me know down below Also, let me know which course you guys would probably like learning about most because I feel like I have my own favorites But my friends have completely different favorites So I want to see what you guys think too. So those are all the things I'm learning as a second year vet student I'm gonna wrap this up now because I feel like I've been talking for forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye